Prasarana's first CEO, Ridza Abdosale, in response to Transport Minister Wee Ka Siong's statement that Monday's LRT collision was due to the negligence of the driver of the empty train, called for a probe on the command center as well. Ridza said although it was obvious that human error caused the crash, the task force probing the accident, which left scores of injured passengers on the other train, should find out whether the mistake happened during a fundamental procedure in rebooting a timed out train. He told FMT that it was normal for trains to time out and be manually driven to a re-entry point before being rebooted to go back into automatic train operation mode. The locations of trains in ATO mode can be seen on a screen in the command center. Ridza said the command center would be directing the driver's every move during this process. The procedure is not rocket science or something secretive, he said. It's done almost every day. If they fail to perform this simple procedure and this led to the accident, then we have to worry. There are more underlying issues. How on earth did the hostler drive the other way? He said hostlers would just follow the control center's instructions and give their feedback. He said trains in ATO mode were essentially in a controlled environment, with their speed and stoppages at the command center's fingertips. Ridza said Prasarana's management should take a serious look into the organization and put suitable people at the company's top levels. I don't blame people for raising questions, no matter how irrelevant they are. The accident has created concerns of uncontrolled magnitude, looking at the videos and pictures on social media.